Did you know that messages from angels and demons can appear similar at first glance, but subtle signs can reveal their true origins? In this video, we'll explore five surprising ways to tell if a message is divinely inspired, or a clever deception. These five signs can reveal whether a message is truly angelic or deceptively dark. Does the message encourage growth or instill fear? Does it bring peace or leave you feeling unsettled? Is it guiding you toward God or away from Him? Does it align with moral truths, or does it contradict them? And most importantly, does it resonate with your intuition, bringing comfort or dread? Each of these signs, as taught by St. Pio, provides clues to help you discern the true source. Watch on to understand these signs in depth and learn how to safeguard your spiritual journey. In the Christian journey, messages come to us in moments of silence, prayer, or even in the midst of struggle. But not all messages come from a place of light. Saint Pio, known for his profound spiritual wisdom, stressed the importance of discerning between messages from angels and those from demons. Understanding these differences can guide us away from spiritual traps and lead us toward truth and peace. Today, we'll dive into five key signs to help you discern between the voices of angels and demons, as taught by St. Pio and rooted in our Catholic faith. 1. The nature of the message. One of the first clues is found in the very nature of the message itself. Messages from angels are deeply encouraging and filled with positivity. They guide us to become better versions of ourselves, strengthening our relationship with God and others. Angelic messages often include words of encouragement, hope, and peace, reminding us of God's unwavering love and purpose for us. Demonic messages, on the other hand, tend to instill fear, doubt, or guilt, subtly pulling us away from God's love and grace. Saint Pio taught that these darker messages can seem harmless at first but will often chip away at our confidence or peace. When receiving a message, ask yourself, does it lift you up or weigh you down? 2. The emotional impact of the message. The emotional aftermath of a message can reveal a lot about its origin. Angelic messages tend to leave us feeling calm, comforted, and at peace, even if the message challenges us to grow or change. They fill our hearts with a sense of love and acceptance that only divine sources can bring. Demonic messages, however, can leave us anxious, restless, or confused. Saint Pio observed that these darker influences often disrupt our inner peace, causing us to feel isolated or inadequate. If a message leaves you feeling distressed or unsure, it's wise to pause and evaluate its true source. 3. The Source's Intentions Another crucial factor is understanding the intent behind the message. Messages from angels have pure intentions, aimed solely at our spiritual well-being and closer connection to God. Saint Pio spoke of how demonic influences may twist their messages, using half-truths or manipulation to lure us away from our faith. They might seem enticing initially, but they often encourage pride, selfishness, or other distractions from God. Whenever you receive a message, ask, is it drawing me closer to God's will, or subtly encouraging me to stray from it? 4. Consistency with Universal Truths Angelic messages are aligned with the universal truths and values that God has laid out for us. They resonate with moral clarity and never contradict God's teachings. Messages from demons, however, can be inconsistent or even contradictory to these principles, luring us toward decisions that conflict with our faith. Saint Pio highlighted this as a key sign. When something seems off or goes against what we know to be true and just, it's wise to question its source. If a message challenges these core beliefs, it's better to steer clear. 5. Trusting your intuition. Finally, your intuition, or spiritual sense, can be a powerful guide. Messages from angels often resonate within us, bringing a sense of inner safety and comfort that we can recognize almost instinctively. Saint Pio believed that the Holy Spirit aids us in discerning these messages, leading us to peace and confidence when they are truly divine. Demonic messages, however, frequently leave us with a lingering feeling of dread or discomfort, no matter how enticing they might seem. Listen closely to your gut feeling. It's often the Holy Spirit's way of guiding you toward the truth. To recap, discerning the source of a message is crucial in our spiritual journey. When a message arrives, ask yourself, does it bring peace or fear, love or confusion? Does it align with God's teachings, or does it challenge them? And most importantly, 
trust the feeling that accompanies it. As St. Pio taught, true angelic messages come with a touch of God's love, filling us with peace and clarity. Now that we've uncovered these powerful signs of discernment, what do you think? Have you ever felt a message that left you wondering about its source? Share your experiences in the comments. We'd love to hear how you navigate spiritual messages. Your insights might help others on the same journey. And if this video resonated with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need clarity in their own spiritual life. Let's grow together in faith and understanding. God bless. If you're looking to overcome depression and anxiety by strengthening your spirituality, I invite you to check out my ebook, Soulful Transformations, Bridging Faith and Mind for Lasting Wellness, available on Kindle. This book combines cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, with biblical wisdom to help you manage stress, tackle anxiety, and find lasting peace through faith. It's not just about mental health. It's about deepening your relationship with God and transforming your life in ways that inspire others. Check the description below for the link and take the first step toward a life of spiritual and emotional wellness.